keep this and I'm, I'm going to email it to you if you want it. So I'm going to move into that direction where if I repeat something and it helps you, I can email it to you and then you can, or WhatsApp it to you, whatever, and we can go and look at it later on again. So we talk about the basics here of vectors, where we say if we have vectors in one dimension, and by vectors now I mean something that has size and direction, we can calculate a net force. So let's imagine that there's a person over here, and one force is pushing this person, let's say it has a force of 10 Newton, and another force is pushing this person in the opposite direction with a force of 5 Newton. If we now want to go and figure out the net force that this person will experience, we can call this F1 and this F2. And then we can say that the net force is going to be the sum of all of the forces. So with F1 being to the right, I'm going to choose a direction and assign a positive or negative sign to it. So let's make to the right positive here. You with me? So here we can say this is going to be plus 10 Newton plus negative 5, which essentially just gives me 10 minus 5, which is then 5 Newton. And now because it's a positive sign, we know that it's going to be to the right. And we're now going to apply it to grade 11. So in grade 11, what we say is we have Coulomb's law, which is really a focus on electrostatic force. The formula is F equals KQ1 Q2 over R squared. So if we want to calculate the net electrostatic force, what we need is we need to establish what are we working with. So let's say there's one charge over here, and there's a charge in the middle, and then there's a third charge over here. And we're going to assign values to them. We're going to make this one plus 2 microcoulomb. This one, let's make it negative 3 microcoulomb. And this one, plus 1 microcoulomb. We are also just going to measure the distances between the two. And let's just, for the sake of making this simple, say that the distance is 1 meter between all of them, just to keep it simple. What we need to do first is we need to go and measure the electrostatic force between two of the charges to calculate the electrostatic force between both of them. I'm going to focus on the green dot and the blue dot now because I'm trying to calculate the net electrostatic force on my blue charge here. So when I use this formula Coulomb's law and I substitute my values, K has a value of 9 times 10 to the power 9 that we get from our information sheet. Q1 is now going to be this plus 2 microcoulomb. I'm going to leave out the plus sign, and it will be 2 times 10 to the power negative 6, which I will multiply with 3 times 10 to the power negative 6 above the line. I'm going to divide this by 1 squared. When you calculate this, it should give you 0 0.054 Newton. Now, if we look at the signs, because we have a negative sign and a positive sign, we know that these two charges are going to attract each other. If we just look at the blue dot, it's going to be uh, experiencing a force, electrostatic force, to the left. So this is going to be 0 0.054 Newton to the left. 0 0.054 Newton to the left, yes? Let's go and calculate it for the blue charge and the purple charge. It's going to be K, which is 9 times 10 to the power 9. We multiply that with 2 times 10 to the power negative 6. And we multiply that with 1 times 10 to the power negative 6 for our 1 microcoulomb charge. Once again, we're leaving out the charges in front of our values. So when we calculate this value, it gives us 0 0,018 Newton. Because both of them are positive, they will repel each other, which means that this blue point charge over here is going to experience 0 0,018 Newton also to the left. So when we go and calculate our net force, F net 
is going to be equal to the electrostatic force between the green and the blue charge, which was 0, 0.054 Newton. And we're going to say to the left is positive, so this is going to have a positive sign. Plus our second electrostatic force between the blue and the purple charge, which was 0, 0.018 Newton. Also plus because it's to the left. If we calculate this, it gives us 0, 0.072 Newton, and it is also positive, so it means that our net force will be to the left. The overall net force that this blue charge in the middle will experience will be 0, 0.072 Newton. And we're going to use this principle as electrostatic forces when we want to calculate the net electrostatic force in one dimension. And tomorrow we're going to look at when we have electrostatic force, but it's in two dimensions, which means vertical and horizontal. So go and revise your vectors from grade 10. When we have vectors in two directions, remember we calculate those vectors as up and down, left and right, and then we will come up with X and Y values, essentially.